And let's get into it, shall we? Load game, memory cards, what? Okay, oh boy. I was a little, <laughs> I was a little scared there for a minute whenever it said uh, memory card not found. I was like, uh, please tell me we didn't lose all of our save and everything. But no, we're good, we're good. A little tongue blip, yeah, yeah. Plus the, uh, the pink and purple looks pretty decent together. It's not bad. I like it, it's good. Before we actually get like to the next world, um, because, spoiler alert, the next world that we're probably gonna do is uh, Alice in Wonderland. I'm not a huge fan of that world. So we're gonna do a little bit more exploring here. I mean, the, the enemies aren't that hard or anything in Alice in Wonderland, uh, but the boss is a real pain in the ass. I didn't mean to come back into the shop here. So we're gonna do just a tiny bit more grinding. Plus, there's a couple little things we can do here in this world uh, before we go. So we might as well do them. Two for one sort of deal, you know? Get our get our experience points. Get our exploration done. G grab another postcard that I forgot about. I need to just look them up, figure out where all they're all at. Where all... Huh! Words! <laughs> figure out where they're all at. There we go. Um... Okay, no enemies are spawning here. I think they'll spawn in the next section still, I think. I could be wrong, though. Is it possible to get that chest early? <gasps> Using a mix of, like... Uh, well, <laughs> it's not going to work that way, I can tell you that much, man. <laughs> Should probably at least jump off of the off the ledge there if we're going to try and make it up or over. Okay. Ah, oh, dude, it might be possible, but I'm not going to spend all day trying to do it. We'll be able to do it later easily whenever we get, like, the glide ability or, or something. Are there enemies in here for us to face? I don't remember what all despawns whenever you beat the boss. It's not all the Heartless, is it? There's a possibility. It could be. But I didn't think it was. We'll be coming back to this later. Come on down this way. I think we can make the jump. Yeah. And where was the chest? There's a chest here somewhere. There it is. Mithril shard. Very nice. And then we can use this to get down to the third district. Where Donald and Goofy were at first, I believe. Pretty sure this is where they uh, spawned in at. Was there anything in this room? The vacant house? It's been so long, man. I can't remember. Over there on the ledge, right? No. No, I think I'm thinking of one of the hotel rooms. Maybe there isn't anything in here. There probably is, and I'm just missing it, but that's fine. We don't have thunder yet, so we can't do that. But we do have... Uh... Fire. Which I think we can open Merlin with fire, right? Isn't that what we need for... Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't remember actually what the lightning, the thunder spell is for. Fire. What that lets us unlock. But it does let us unlock something. <laughs> I hate these stupid stones, man. I've missed them before and then had to like redo this entire section and it's a giant pain in the ass. I mean, it's not like that bad at the end of the day, but just having to redo it is annoying. Okay, nothing else we can do here right now except for go inside. I'm having to, like, refresh my own memory because it's been forever. The 
there's something about this musty place. It reminds me of the secret place back home, where we used to scribble on the walls. Remember? Kyrie? Sora? So we're going just a little cray cray, man. Well, well. You've arrived sooner than I expected. What? You knew we were coming? Of course. Are you heartless? Sure looks like one to me, man. I don't know. I said we just take him out right now. <laughs> uh. He doesn't look like one. Oh my, no. My name is Merlin. As you can see, I am a sorcerer. Obviously. I spend much of my time traveling. It's good to be home. Your king has requested my help. King Mickey? Yes, indeed. Donald, Goofy, and who might you be, young man? I'm Sora. <laughs> and so you have found the key. What did the king ask you to do? Just a moment, please. now. Um. Your king asked me to train you in the art of magic. We can start anytime you like. Let me know when you're ready to begin the training. Oh, and one more thing. Hello, I'm the fairy godmother. Your king asked me to help too. I will assist throughout your journey. I do not know how much I can help be of help, but do stop by any time. Yeah, he really can't do much for us, but... <laughs> That's fine. You can just, like... He sends you up to a little area where you can practice your magic a lot if you talk to him. But, like, practicing your magic doesn't really do anything for you. It just lets you try it out against various animated pieces of furniture. Like, <laughs> it's really not a big deal. But her, on the other hand, the fairy go godmother, she's helpful. I'm so worried about Cinderella. My world has disappeared too. Wait, do they not explain it to us, like, right away? How the fairy godmother can help? I thought they did. Do we have to, like, leave and come back or something? Or maybe it just doesn't work until later. But, uh, spoiler. The fairy godmother is how we get summons. Summon commands. We bring her special items, and she uses those items to uh, enable different summon spells for us. Hmm. Yeah, I guess she doesn't do it until until later in the story. Which, I mean, makes sense. We don't even have the, the summon thing unlocked yet, but I thought maybe she was the one that unlocked it. I really don't remember. I'll go ahead and show you what the practice magic thing is, even though it's really not anything special. Chocobo, what's up, my guy? Final Fantasy X, you got it, man. I think today, during one of the breaks, if we take any, uh, <laughs> we're probably going to go ahead and throw the, the votes on, because the list is starting to get a little bit long. Practice magic. You can practice casting spells here without depleting magic points. Merlin's furniture will be your target. You can have it either way. When you're ready to call it quits, walk up to Merlin and select cancel. Practice magic. Uh, moving targets. Off we go. So yeah, we literally just, we can stand here and we can just infinite magic. That's, that's all this place is. <laughs> Isn't it fancy? So I mean, like, if you don't know how to use magic or something or what a spell does, you can come here to try it out. But why would you try it out here instead of just trying it out, you know, in your adventures? I don't know. And as far as I'm aware, there's no other point to this area. As far as I'm aware, I could be wrong. But, like, yeah. 
so <laughs> it's a thing though that's here that we can do God's sakes, you got like 99% of your stuff done and still got like at one and a half hours left. And that's what taking semi breaks between each task. Got like 99% of my stuff done and still got like one and a half hours left. And that's what taking semi breaks between each task. Are you talking about at your second, at the second job thing? Is that what you're talking about? It's weird that the game's done that twice now, not detected the memory card whenever we first pop into the menu. I hope my memory card's not going bad. After the stream, I'll have to try to remember to make a backup of my saves. Just in case the memory card's dying on me or something. I really need to, one of these days, uh, look more into that... Oh, god damn it. Into that, uh, the... the um, I don't know if it's going to be called PlayStation 2 Mem Card Pro. I have no idea what they're planning on calling it. But the same thing I have for the PlayStation 1, but for PS2 the memory card to SD card adapter essentially with extra features yep that is what you're talking about Nate I mean hey look <laughs> I'm just glad you're enjoying it man that it seems to be going pretty well for you and the job not being too awfully difficult is always a bonus really I mean as long as it's not super boring you're literally hiding in one of the break rooms. <laughs> literally hiding. <laughs> Not figuratively. Literally. <laughs> I like it, man. Uh, Was there anything in section two? No. I don't think so. I mean, there's the like little walkway and the hotel that there might be a postcard or something hidden in that we could get. But since there's no Heartless here right now, I don't see the point in running around any longer. We're just going to go turn in our postcard right here and get on to Alice in Wonderland. Mega Ether, let's go. How many postcards total were there? Ten? I want to say there's ten. Ten? Yeah, I thought so too. When you're a sub, they're happy as long as you get trash bathrooms and any major messes. Hate those trash bathrooms, man. You grinded for 99 in KH3. Did you for real? I haven't done that in 3 yet. Uh, I was thinking of doing it on my original save, but then they announced they were releasing the, the proud mode or whatever you want to call the more difficult mode. So my plan has been to go back and do it on that. Get like the 100% completion there, grind for 99, all that like I did for KH1 and 2 back in the day. Uh, but I never got around to it. <laughs> so one of these days, KH3 is just like, it's just not as good as the other ones. So I don't know, it's on the back burner for now. The green cursor shows your current position. Select your next destination with the cursor. Observe the battle level when selecting destinations. More stars mean stronger heartless in that world. Yeah, so I mean, technically, you don't have to go over here to Alice in Wonderland first. You can come down here to, I want to say it's uh, Mount Olympus, but or the Colosseum, rather. But yeah, I mean, if you follow the, the suggested route, we're doing Alice in Wonderland yet. Next. The Heartless ships often give us a hard time. Why, though? Why, though, what? Oh, <laughs> you're talking to Chocobo. Always be on the lookout during flight. Control the gummy ship with the left analog stick. Tilt it up to descend and tilt it down to ascend. The blue gauge shows the power level. Firing lasers, among other things, consumes power. The green gauge shows the strength of the armor. If it reaches zero, it's back to the departing point. Uh, Kingdom Hearts has a 99 cap, not a 100 cap. Yeah. As is common in a lot of, like, JRPGs. I don't know why exactly. Probably, I'm, I'm assuming it's just habit from back whenever, like, they had really, like, how do we, s okay, we can, is there not a button to, like, force the gummy ship to stay in one spot while we aim around? We can force the reticule to stay in one spot while we move around. Uh, but anyways, as I was saying, I'm assuming 100% assumption that it comes from back when, like on the Nintendo and things like that, when they had fixed size fonts 
and uh, they had to fit things into a certain area, right? They had to fit their text into the size that they had. Uh, so if they had it go to level 100, they would have had to dedicate uh, three character whips to two things. Uh, whereas with, you know, if they cap it at 99, they only have to dedicate two character whips. That's always been my reasoning for why they, they probably did that on a lot of old games, but I don't know if that's actually true or not. 100% speculation. Thought you were missing a synthesis of material, you were not. Waste of time doing it. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, whenever I did the 100% completion for Kingdom Hearts 1, I did it on uh, the, the final mix on, on console. I did 100% but except for Gummy Ship, to be clear. But anyways, because they added more materia, or not materia, more uh, synthesis materials to get the ultimate weapon and everything, it was a real pain in the ass, man. <laughs> I spent a fair amount of time just grinding that out. I mean, to be fair... I had to do that anyways to get 99. I probably... The last thing I did for my run was was beat Sephiroth uh, solo in the Coliseum. And I was probably only level 99, like, I don't know, maybe a couple hours before I did that. So, at the end of the day, I would have had to grind either way. I probably could have just did more efficient grinding for, for levels if I wasn't spending so much damn time grinding synthesis materials. <laughs> Hell yeah. Which brings me back to, I don't know what our goal is with this playthrough still. I'm thinking just unlocking secret ending. 100%'s too much. We might try to do the Sephiroth fight, but I am not... Like, like I mentioned, when I did the 100% run, I had to be... I was level 99 with ultimate weapon. And it still took me a fair few tries, let's say, to get it done. I'm okay at Kingdom Hearts. I'm not amazing at it, How so... so small? I don't know, man. No, you're simply too big. <laughs> that tracks! Mm. <sighs> Must you be so loud? You woke me up. <sighs> Good morning. Good night. I need a bit more sleep. This guy's Wait, mood. What do we have to do to grow small? Why don't you try the bottle? Over there. I fucking hate this world. <laughs> the music gets stuck in my head. It, the, the layout is confusing. I just... Mm, 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 mm. Uh, is there anything else we can do at this point in time? I don't think so. Collapse the bed to get in there. Yeah, no, I think we're good for now. Drink it up. And I think this is where Heartless start to spawn. Yep. This world in Agrabah, yeah. Agrabah is pretty confusing too because all the like the height that interconnects everything. And then Oh wait no. Is it this one or two with where this is the one where you go into the cave, right? Of Agrabah. I, I'm, I think I might be mixing the two games up a little bit. This one you spend most of your time in the city. I think. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I, I can't remember. And it's, it's been a little while. I'm getting things confused. These little elemental bastards suck. And I always thought it was kind of rude that they give you the fire spell. And then right after they give you the fire spell, you go to a world where half the enemies are fire elementals. So, like, <laughs> you <laughs> your fucking fire spell doesn't even end up being useful in any ways. I think you fight the head in this one, but actually go in the cave into it. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, that sounds that sounds about right. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure you're right, man. 
Okay, we can't do that trinity yet. We can't collect that thing up there yet, the little box, but we will want to collect that box later. Because there's two fights in this world that can can be a little bit difficult, honestly, whenever you're a low level. Uh, the final boss fight, but also the fight to free Alice. I don't want to spoil anything too much, but uh, suffice it to say, Alice gets captured and we have to free her at one point. Coming up. So I know where to go. We're just going through that big door. Just making sure I cleared out all the Heartless because levels. <laughs> we need the experience, man. Otherwise, we're going to be screwed. This girl is the culprit. There's no doubt about it. And the reason is because I say so, that's why. That is so unfair. What a bitch. Well, have you anything to say in your defense? Of course. I've done absolutely nothing wrong. You may be queen, <laughs> but I'm afraid that. Alice, the criminal mastermind, yeah, so right? So mean. Silence! Jesus you fuck. Dead? My <laughs> controller vibrated and scared the shit out of me. Jesus, hey guys, I just wanted to grab my drink. We're outsiders, so wouldn't that be muddling? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and that's against the rules. The court finds the defendant guilty as charged for the crimes of assault and attempted theft of my heart. <gasps> Off with her head! No, no! Oh, please! Hold it right there! Who are you? How dare you interfere with my court? Excuse me, but we know who the real culprit is. Uh-huh. It's the hard one. Anyway, she's not the one you're looking for. That's nonsense. Have you any proof? Uh. <laughs> you know you're not picking. <laughs> <laughs> but if it's against the rules to meddle, uh, bring me evidence of Alice's innocence. Fail and it's off with all of your heads. Gather as much uh, or little evidence as you please. Report back here once you're ready. I'll be I'll be honest, man. Half the time, whenever I play Kingdom Hearts one, I just don't even end up gathering evidence. <laughs> I get like I grab the first one and then just give up. But we're gonna try and collect them all and uh, hopefully get a good outcome here. And then explain birth by sleep. Yeah, that's... Yeah. <laughs> I think the whole no meddling thing is more of a suggestion than a rule, honestly. Uh, because they have a long history of meddling. Uh, Donald, Goofy, Sora. <laughs> obviously the gang from uh, BBS. There is meddling left and right. Honestly, I don't know how everyone isn't already aware of all of the different worlds and things. <laughs> like... <laughs> It's the Geneva suggestion, exactly, yes. <laughs> oh. Here's everyone's favorite character. Who are you? Who indeed? Poor Alice, soon to lose her head, and she's not guilty of a thing. Hey, if you know who the culprit is, tell us! The Cheshire Cat has all the answers, but doesn't always tell. The answer, the culprit, the cat, all lie in darkness. <laughs> I just, I don't... <laughs> it makes no damn sense. They've already left for the forest, I won't tell which exit. There are four pieces of evidence in all, three are a cinch to find. The fourth is tricky. Big reward if you find them all. Should we trust him? To trust or not to trust? I trust you'll decide. 
See, this is why I hate <laughs> because of the Alice in Wonderland world. Because of this shit right here, we can like turn big, turn small. Uh, we have to feed these plants different items to get them to do things. And I just always forget the, <laughs> the right order to do stuff in and it confuses me. And I just, I just don't like it. I don't like it. Light heart, dark heart, dark. <laughs> Light heart, dark heart, dark. That's a uh, philosophical man. <laughs> and Donald's dead. Big surprise there. We did set him to use, he must not have the ability to use cure yet or something. So we did set him to use, uh, to use healing stuff often. Goofy as well. Of course, I probably didn't give them any items to make them useful either. Okay, so you want a potion to make me big. You want an ether to just give me something. Do we have an ether? Item stock. No, we have a mega ether, which I think it might take, but I'm not using my mega ether for that. Whatever the hell it gives me. I'm just glad I was mistaken in thinking that the, the big fat dudes with the belly drums showed up early in this game. I don't remember when they actually show up, but uh, those dudes suck ass. <laughs> Those are by far my least favorite enemy in Kingdom Hearts games. Wait, are they about to pop up? <laughs> I, don't, I don't like that look, dude. <laughs> Got some footprints. Uh, what do you want? A potion? Sure. Potion for a high potion? Fair trade. Um, I don't think we can do anything up here until we turn that stuff around. I mean, I guess we can go to the bizarre room here. But what I can't remember is if this is the entrance we want to take to get there or not. Uh, can't get over there yet. I make that jump? Hey, look at that, I can. I'll take the chest, please. Thank you kindly. Dalmatian puppies. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, oh shit, that wasn't jump. <laughs> I pressed the wrong damn button. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. We can just climb up there the normal way, but I, I hit X trying to jump and that's attack. I'm just a dumbass. That's all. I don't know what game we've been playing, but it has my head backwards. Uh, no, we don't need the mushrooms. We can do here. Excuse me, game. Thank you. Antenna. Okay, let's head to the bizarre room now to see if we can get the one that's in or the two that's in there I think the other two are both in the bizarre room but I think we have to enter it a certain way to get one of them dude ether I don't have ethers I don't really remember, to be honest, but once I see it, I'm hoping it'll it'll come back to me. I remember that we can hit this tree to flip it around. Uh, so that we can go somewhere else, but... Okay, so here's this one. That's good. Stench. Now we need to go in it upside down? To get the last one? I think so. And then light the candles or something? Or is that how we... Or is that how we summon the boss? Fuck, man, I don't remember. Okay, don't go to there yet. Can we push the border? Where does that take us? That takes us to the tea room, right? Okay, 
can we push it? We might not even be able to push it yet. Yeah, that's probably a lead right now. Okay. Let's get big. Wait, I have the dodge roll ability now. Let's go. I can dodge roll everywhere. Potion flower. Uh... Attack. There we go. And then we can also... Set sail at night. Yes. Yes, I did. We can also do that, which will let us go up there. And then attack, and then eat. Rip Leaf Bracer? Wait a second. <laughs> Do you not get Leaf Bracer until really late or something when you set sail at night? You still get it, at least. I hope. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you do. I know when I did my 100% run, uh, we got Leaf Bracer, but I can't remember if I got it earlier or later. And also, with uh, the final mix, they, they redid the order that you get things in, so there's that, too. It's pretty late. Uh, I mean, we'll be okay. <laughs> We'll make it work. What's hard mode without making things harder on yourself, right? Uh, okay, so this is not where I was hoping to go. Can I get over to there? Donald, I need you to fall. Thank you. <laughs> ha! Let's go. Claw marks. Okay, that's all four. Well, look what you found. Nice going. Now we can save Alice. Don't be so sure. She may be innocent, but what about you? What do you mean? I won't tell, but I'll give you something. The power of ice. Learn magic spell blizzard. Let's go. So I think that's all we can really do at the moment. So we might as well go quote unquote save Alice. Oh, we should probably, if we haven't already, did it auto-equip our spell? No, abilities, please. How do we... Customize, there it is. Okay, it did. Square. That's fine. You know what? I'm going to save real quick, too. Well, no, we can just continue if we die. Better bring your evidence soon. I, I did. <laughs> I forget how to present it, though. I thought we just went here. Do we, did we not bring it here? I'm so confused. Hold on. My memory's piss, piss poor. Did we talk to you? Before you sit... Her Royal Majesty, the Noble Queen of Hearts. I, I get that, dude, but... Hello? <laughs> I got... I got the stuff. Do I talk to you? There we go. Yes. <laughs> Very well, Council. Step to the podium. Now show me what you have found. Well, that's certainly a lot of evidence, but I'm still not impressed. Cards? Bring forth my evidence. Hmm, checking all five would only be a waste of time. Yeah, why would we check all the evidence for a case when we can just check one at random? Choose the one you wish to present. I'll decide who's guilty based on that evidence. What? After all the terrible of collecting it? You dare object? Then you will lose your head. Now choose one box. Uh, pick a number, someone. Any number. One, two, three, four, five. If you pick wrong, we're screwed. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I will totally blame it on you. Come on, Noodle. Give me a good number. Um, come on. One, two, three, four, five. Three. Okay, right in the middle. Are you certain? No second chances. 
Uh, I'm sure. Now we shall see who the real culprit is. Hey, it's the Heartless. We Gucci. We good. Nate said three as well. Okay, that's good because we already picked three. <laughs> what in the world was that? There's your evidence. Alice is innocent. Urgh. Silence. I'm the law here. Article 29. Anyone who defies the queen is guilty. That's crazy. Seize them at once. <laughs> See, it could have been uh, Donald and Goofy and we would have been solo, which would have made this much worse, but... Cards, if they touch the tower, you lose your heads. <laughs> These cards suck so hard, man. There's no point in dealing with the cards, except for, like, trying to stop yourself from dying. Uh, I could really use that Leaf Bracer right about now. <laughs> Leaf Bracer, for anyone who doesn't know, whenever you're healing yourself, you don't take damage, which is extremely helpful. Another one down. Ow. I should really give them some items. <laughs> I also really wish that I would have given myself some regular potions. Oh god, okay. Oh god. Run away, run away, run away. <laughs> hey Donald, do you want to get yourself up and heal me by any chance? No? Okay. Oh god. Fuck, see? <laughs> That's why we need Leaf Brazer for that right there. That exact reason, man. Chocoba, do you remember in this one if you can get the, the ability Last Chance or whatever it's called? Uh, the one where you take a fatal, like, a one-hit blow, you, you survive with one HP. Oh, shit, we gotta repick the evidence, too? Ah, that sucks. <laughs> Second wind, yeah, that's it. I don't remember if we get that in, in the original or if that was a final mix thing. Donald and Goofy get last chance. I mean, that's something, at least. <laughs> You believe it's in the original. Okay, okay. I hope so, but I can't remember. Especially because I normally play proud mode too, which, like I said, final mix in proud mode, they, they change things a bit. Like the, the unlock rate for, for abilities. I wish we could skip cutscenes, man. Okay. Oh my god, y'all suck. You know what I should have done and totally forgot to do? I should have equipped Donald and Goofy with some basic items. as well as giving myself more potions. Okay, we just gotta like bait them away, attack a couple times and then, and then come back. Cause the problem is whenever they all like gang up on you right in the middle of it there. Like this, for instance. <laughs> You're doing great, Goofy. Just keep it up, man. Honestly, Goofy the real goat here. Come on. I was really hoping I could get it taken out while they were all down. There we go. Be good. Level ups for Donald and Goofy, too. I can't do anything, by the way, right now. We're invulnerable. Just waiting on the game to 
to figure something out. Game. Okay. Oh, boy. Got scared for a second. <laughs> I thought I might have died. Dun, dun, dun. Maybe it was Alice all along. She must have gotten kidnapped while we were fighting. You fools. Find the one who's behind this. I don't care how. I wonder who would have stolen Alice, man. Why would you kidnap her? Back into the Lotus Forest we go. Have you seen Alice? Alice? No. Shadows. Yes. Where did they go? This way? That way? Does it matter? Left, right, up, down. Omnic step, thanks to the shadows. Step deeper into the forest, to the deserted garden. You might find shadows in the upside down room. Oh, look! <laughs> it's the bastards! <laughs> The worst enemies in the freaking game. I hate these guys so much. <laughs> Ow. You are deep cat. Just stop. So many people are obsessed with Cheshire Cat, man. The Cheshire Cat. I don't... I don't get it, honestly. Like, it's fine. He's whatever. I don't dislike him, but... I don't understand all of the, uh... All of the love for him, either. Oh, God. Thank you for uh, tanking that there, Goofy. Pre appreciate you, bud. Okay, so we can knock that boulder into the water, which, if I remember correctly, will put us on the other side of this wall here where we can use like thunder to get some stuff or something I don't remember if there's anywhere we can actually go with it though and then oh man do I really want to give one of them a potion <laughs> Donald's always dead I'm not going to give it to him but Goofy's going to use them like crazy which is why I usually don't like giving them potions and things. But I'm going to give them one. I should probably wait until the the fight comes up. Oh, God. The, the boss fight, that is. Let's go into the, the tea garden. And then we'll come back and do the, the other stuff. I'm pretty sure in this version, you can use Jiminy's journal to see what chests and stuff you haven't collected yet. I don't think that was a final mix only thing. Uh, yeah, Chronicles, that's right. Wonderland. Maybe not. Characters trendy list. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Hmm, <laughs> maybe that is a final mix-only thing. I'll have to I'll have to Google it to f figure out what the requirements are to, to unlock the secret ending in this version. When you play on hard mode. I'm pretty sure when you play on proud mode, the, the hardest difficulty, I think all you have to do is basically beat the game. But like, narrator, it was a <laughs> final mix-only thing. Ah, that sucks, man. That's that's one huge addition that I really appreciated for for doing the 100% run. I guess it's really not that big of a deal though, since we're not doing it. But I still can't quite remember what the requirements are for a secret ending. Uh, not 1.5 remix. Secret ending. Kingdom Hearts Wiki, maybe? Uh, no. Another side, another story. Maybe if we go here, it'll tell us how to get it. 
Unlock criteria. Expert mode. Seal every keyhole and finish the game. Oh, okay. That's fine. See, if we were playing on normal mode, you would have to complete the Hades Cup, find all 99 puppies, seal every keyhole, and then finish the game. But all we have to do is finish the game, apparently. So, and seal every keyhole. So, not too bad. Not too bad. Is there anything for us to do in here? Besides picking the right chairs to, to get up top? A very merry um birthday. Wait, can we not can we not do this part yet? Shoot, maybe we can't. Well read the sign? I did. Very merry um birthday. Oh. <laughs> I didn't realize we had to read it twice. I don't remember which chairs do what. Okay. Got an elixir, very nice. Uh, This one. Just more money and a potion. Potions are always appreciated. Middle one. Heartless. Yep. Ah, you bastard. Ow. Holy crap. Okay. Goofy's not gonna heal me. Did he already use his potion or does he just hate me? I don't <laughs> I don't know. It's hard to say. Oh, well thanks, Goofy. <laughs> I love how the picture changes. Oh, I didn't mean to go in that. I wanted to go the other way and come back. They're hiding somewhere, and the mo the Momoriths out Grebe? Want to find the shadows? What? <laughs> uh, try turning on the light. Excuse me? <laughs> Was he having a stroke? I don't remember... I don't remember that being a thing before. The Momoriths ungrabe? Is that some kind of... Anagram or something? There we go. More potions, always nice. It and honestly, thank you for the bubbles. We need our MP back. And sit. At least it's just normal heartless this time, not the dudes who names I can't remember. There is like an enemy viewer. I just I care about remembering things. Oh, god, just hit him! <laughs> oh my god, I cannot... <laughs> Why do I... I can just not hit the guy. Holy hell. It's weird that I can lock onto it but not examine it or anything. Okay, I think that's all that we can do in the room for now. Eventually you can like get up top there and whatnot. I thought honestly sitting in one of the chairs like teleported you up there, but I guess not. Probably just something for, for later, the next visit. Oh look who it is. La asshole. I can't wait until Donald gets the ability to use cure. It's the only thing he's really useful for, after all. I also can't wait until we get the ability to see the, the health of these things. Ow. That was that was a good parry. Oh, God. 
Okay. <laughs> that hurt. He got us, man. Rammed us right over. Okay, where's the big guy at? There he is. See ya. Deep breeze. Deep breeze. Screw you. I'm gonna regret not saving some of that magic here in a moment. Oh, we got him. See, if you parry him, he stalls for a second so you can get a couple more attacks on him. But I am obviously terrible at parries. There we go. GG. Can you get down here, please? I, I said please. Let's uh, undo the latch real quick while we're down here. And then... Hey, Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. Appreciate you. Touch. Oh, we don't actually have to use the fire spell. Okay, for some reason I was thinking we actually had to use the fire spell to light them. No, we just touch them. It's too dim, make it brighter. One more lamp that you need to light. My brain just kind of like died while I was reading that. I was expecting it to rhyme or something and it ooh, just didn't. So satisfying to squish them with gravity and just molly walk their pancake bodies. <laughs> oh. All the lights are on. You'll see the shadows soon. They'll arise in this room, but somewhere else. The shadows might go after that doorknob too. Not the doorknob. Really don't care. Fuck that doorknob. Okay. Um. I don't think there's anything else to do in here that I remember. I'm gonna go back to the tea room though, instead of through to the to the queen's place, because there might be something we can do in here in the lotus forest. Oh, it's you. What do you want? You're cold? I probably don't have all the spells necessary to make this work right now. Uh. I think that's cold. It's really hard to see with Donald and Goofy chilling here. You're hot. I'm going to run out of... Oh, dude, we actually got it. I'm surprised. Thanks, my guy. Fire. Cold. Fire. And it must not, like, do ones that you don't have the magic Fire. for yet, which is appreciated. Fire. Oh, shit. <laughs> All the prizes, man. Let's go. Uh, right. Let's get big. If I could see. Fire. Hot. Uh, see, I like, I can't, <laughs> I can't do that. You want soup? Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh. Just imagine Sora pulling a bowl of soup out of his pants and just like, here you go, guy. This will make you all better. All right, knock the boulder in. Should pop up those two lily pads. And then, can we... Do we want that turned now? Was there anything else to do? I don't think there was. I think that's it. 
me soup. I'm not a huge soup person. I love soup. Soup might be what I eat for lunch today. Actually. Heat up a bowl of my frozen soup. I've been wanting to make chili too. I've just been too lazy to do it. <laughs> like, I have all of the ingredients and everything, but... Oh, wait. Did you have... Oh, that's right. Noodle brought me home pizza. Never mind. I'll probably... I forgot about the pizza, love. Okay, maybe maybe I'll eat pizza for lunch and then soup for dinner then, unless you're wanting to, uh, like, make something for dinner tonight. If you had other plans, that's fine. I'll go along with it, but a nice bowl of soup sounds good. Oh, shit. That was... That was a trash jump. Good job, me. You're, like, falling asleep on the couch and doubt you're cooking? I mean, after D&D, &D, as long as it's something quick, I could cook. But I doubt you're going to want to stay up long enough for me to, for me to cook food. Fireball this dude's ass. That wasn't enough. But at least he'll probably hit Goofy. <laughs> You're making coffee count. Coffee counts as food, right? Uh, I mean, if you eat the beans, I guess so. And it it, it is kind of a a uh, a broth of sorts. <laughs> I mean, technically they're not beans, so it's not a bean broth. Is it? Is it's not a juice. Is it? Would you consider it a juice? I'm positive I've seen a video on the technicalities of what food group coffee would be. But I don't remember the conclusion from when I watched it. I know I personally wouldn't consider it a soup. I think I've seen some memes before of people calling it like a bean soup. Coffee works as food, you agree? Of course you would, Nate. You're just addicted to caffeine, my guy. Oh, goddammit. Whatever. We don't need to go up there anyways. I don't think there's anything we can really do right now. Up there. What's wrong with caffeine? Nothing's wrong with it. Until you get addicted. Like, <laughs> this is coming from someone who has been addicted to caffeine before. See, these guys want to be a little, a little, get a little shocky shock, but we don't have the ability to do that right now. It's in the fruit group. The beans themselves wouldn't be considered fruits though, right? Because they're just the seeds. Give me a high potion. I don't remember what we get for giving you a high potion, but sure. I didn't mean to do that. Whatever. That's fine. It'll work. This should help. Mega Potion! I mean, it's an upgrade. I'll take it. And then you want Shocked. Yeah, which we can't do. Trinity, though. Another camping set? I find myself never, like, in Final Fantasy games, too, the, the tents and, and houses and all that BS that are that are actually, I mean, helpful. <laughs> I never use them, though. Like, I'm terrible at that. I'm pretty bad at just using healing items in general in JRPGs. Oh, good. We got an arrow G. How helpful. I'm so happy we got that so we can customize our gummy ship. I'm going to save before the fight. And I am actually going to give some people some items and stuff, because I see death in our future. I should have saved after I did the items, though. Exchange, Sora. We don't need the Mega Potion. That's a little much for right now. We'll give a regular potion to Goofy. And I don't see any point in giving Ether to Donald, honestly, because he doesn't have Cure at the moment, it seems. So I'll just give it to Goofy, and he can dish it out to whoever he wants. He's probably going to end up giving it to Donald, though, to be honest. 
and then save again. Uh -huh, the memory card is inserted. Stop that. <laughs> There's no addiction here? Okay. How long can you go without drinking caffeine before you get a caffeine headache and a uh, attitude problem there, love? Because if it happens at all, <laughs> guess what? You're addicted. <laughs> you have a better view from higher up? I didn't hear you. I said, how long can you go without a caffeine headache and an attitude problem? You have a caffeine headache now. I haven't had coffee yet. See? The shadow should be here soon. Are you prepared for the worst? If not, too bad. What a dick. There's never an attitude problem. Yeah, you're right. I despise this guy. I've died him so many freaking times. I also hate the blizzard spell. It just never wants to freaking hit. There goes one potion already. Nice. Beat the hell out of him, please. There goes all the ethers. They lasted a long time. I'm assuming... Oh, wait. I only gave Goofy one potion, huh? I was going to say, Goofy must already be out of potions because Donald's down. I'm not even... Why am I not even hitting the dude, man? I was just attacking the fucking, what, the table? Ow, you bastard. At least he hasn't lit his things yet. That's when he gets much harder is whenever he, he starts shooting fireballs at you. I mean, if we can do this whole fight without him ever lighting his, his, his little fire sticks, I'm perfectly okay with this scenario. On, get on the table. Get, get on the table. Oh, boy. I feel like this fight would be much better if we had, like, the high jump ability or something, too, to get up there more easily. Hey, Donald, welcome back, my guy. It's about time you show up and then almost instantly die in one hit. I love that for you, man. So you don't get the headache normally. And attitude doesn't hit until it's a combo, like no food or caffeine or something along those lines. I mean, how long do you actually go without caffeine, man? I've never seen you go more than a couple hours without downing a, a bang or, or a coffee or some other form of energy drink, you know what I mean? Or some other form of caffeine, rather. You have to actually, like, go without caffeine for a caffeine headache to become a problem. <laughs> like, you can't just say, I don't get caffeine headaches when you drink a thousand milligrams of caffeine a day. Does he not light the thing if we don't use fire magic on him? Maybe I've been making that fight harder on myself uh, every time I've done it by, by using fire magic on him constantly. That was actually a lot easier than a time than I usually have. You've gone a few days before? Maybe you're just immune to caffeine, man. I don't know. <laughs> I've never met anyone that doesn't get headaches when they don't have caffeine when they drink that much caffeine, but hey. Obtain Ifrit's Horn? I don't remember that mm. either. What a racket. How's a doorknob to get any sleep? What is Ifrit's Horn? <sighs> oh!
Reduces fire damage by 20% and raises max AP and defense. Dude. <laughs> I wonder I wonder what kind of drop rate does that have? Like, is that... Do you always get that? And I've just forgotten for some reason? You hear that? Sounded like something closed. This gummy ain't like no uh, the others. No, sir. Okay, I'll hold on to it. <laughs> I think you've gone like a day and a half. It's not pretty. Or you could just quit. <laughs> like, that'll solve your problems. Splendid. You're quite the hero. If you're looking for Alice, she's not here. She's gone. Off with the shadows. Into darkness. No. <laughs> Let's go back to our gummy ship. We might find her in another world. We've got to go to a save point to return to our ship. But you like coffee? I mean, that's fine. They do make, you know, decaf and things. You can drink coffee without caffeine in it just no <laughs> refuses to even try <laughs> no no i can't oh god i'm gonna make a save on memory card 2 even though memory card 2 is the like shitty third party one um that breaks the game as you can see with that that bar that's just going on infinitely <laughs> But memory card one is saving, or saving? Memory card one is scaring me a little bit with its constant, there is no memory card here, deal. Um, okay, I think that's all we can do in this world for now. We'll be able to come back and do more later, but I think, I think that's it for the moment. Take a quick look around. Yeah, because we got the chest up there, but we can't jump up there yet. You guys don't say anything of use. So, yeah. Gummy ship, let's go. Getting the hell out of here. So, we could go here, but we're going to follow the, the stars. Forgot we can't hop around yet. Oh god, we have to go step by step. <laughs> I don't like hate the gummy ship stuff, but I kind of hate the gummy ship stuff. It just takes up so much time and for, for nothing. Just so you can build cooler looking ships out of what equates to basically Legos. And to the best of my memory, it's not required for, for any of like the item synthesis or any of the, the cool stuff in the game. <laughs> In Kingdom Hearts 3, they tried to change it up a little bit, so it's, like, open world-esque now, with, like, just this big area that you can fly to. But honestly, I think I like that even less <laughs> than I liked it in Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, with the way they did the gummy ship missions. It's really dumb, too, that you can, like, you can lock the, the aiming reticule but you can't lock your ship's position. I mean, we can slow ourselves to a crawl. There's no way to lock the ship, which is weird. Sometimes I just want to travel straight, but you know, have the reticule move. Uh, is there anything we can do in first district yet? Mm, I don't think so. So we're just going to skip it. We could go to, like, the accessory shop or something, I suppose, and buy some stuff. But we hardly have any money right now anyways. We only have, like, what, a thousand, maybe? I'd be so happy once we get the ability to warp.
what I normally do is just keep this base ship and then just load up more and more guns and engines onto it. <laughs> it's like, the gummy ship missions usually aren't all that hard. So I just want to get through them as quickly as possible. And then equip a shit ton of lasers so we can take out everything without even trying, man. Just <laughs> automatic, tar are automatically targeting lasers. There's probably a better word for that, but... <laughs> Your boy's an idiot, so. It always makes me mad, too, that, like, at least early on, you can't grab everything that you blow up. Like, right there, we could have potentially gotten four stars, but I don't think there's any way for us to collect more than two of them. Maybe there's someone who's actually good at the game that could, but I, I know I can't. Because <laughs> your, your grab radius just isn't that big. I don't even understand, like, what the inspiration was for this. Like, why did they think that this game needed interstellar space travel with guns <laughs> like i understand they needed a way to move from world to world or whatever but where, where did space shooter come up in that meeting i mean to be fair just the the whole premise of the game is batshit crazy to begin with so i shouldn't be that surprised but holy hell Olympus Coliseum. Can't do this trendy yet, right? No. Uh. Deep freeze. Oh God damn it! See ya. Seriously? I used the little pan. See ya. Yeah, I used the little pan last night. Why can't I freaking <laughs> fire these things? What am I walking on to? Excuse me? Why is it not going out? Am I on drugs? Oh, you need a more powerful version of Blizzard, like Blizzard or Blizzaga or something. Okay, I, can say, I, re I know for a fact, I remember hitting those things with, with ice magic at some point. What were you using the little pan for, love? Tony that came up with the idea while on shrooms. I mean, look, dude, I wouldn't be surprised. They very well may have. It's your ramen pan? Just use the medium sized one then. Do you know how they actually, like, according to the internet, got the, the game greenlit? Have you heard that story before, Nate? It's been presented as truth all over the internet, so I'm like... I want to believe it's true, but I don't actually know if it is or not, you know? Um... Good timing. Give me a hand, will you? Move that pedestal over there for me. I gotta spruce this place up for the game. If not, uh, it was Square Enix and Disney used to have offices in the same building together. And uh, Tetsuya Nomura had the idea for a, a crossover with Disney and just happened to be on the elevator one day with a executive from Disney. So he gave him the literal elevator pitch for the game. <laughs> like... Hi, this is who I am. This is what I've done. I work at Square Enix here in the building. I have an idea where we take your most beloved characters and worlds and we put a little dude in there with a fucking chainsaw that goes around fucking shit up. Um, <laughs> no, I don't know what was actually said in the elevator, 
But yeah, apparently he gave him a literal elevator pitch, and the guy actually liked the idea, and they Way worked out the details heavy. together. What? Too heavy? Since when have you been such a little... Oh, wrong guy. What are you doing here? This here is the world-famous Coliseum, heroes only. And I got my hands full preparing for the game. So run along, pipsqueaks. Look, it's like this. Heroes are coming from all over to fight ferocious monsters right here in the Coliseum. You got heroes standing right in front of you. Yup, he's a real hero chosen by the Keyblade. And we're heroes too. Hero? That front? <laughs> I say we kick his ass. I fought a bunch of monsters. <laughs> hey, if you can't even move this. Uh huh, you, you were saying. <laughs> the hero! Okay, so it takes more than brawn. Well, well, let's see what you can do. Try all this stuff. You got what it takes. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, kid. Let's see what you got. And we just gotta break some boxes. <laughs> or barrels, rather. Noise, noise. Uh, not attack. Lift, please. Oh my god, I suck so much. Not bad for a beginner, that is. Rules are simple. Bust all the barrels within the time limit. Let it go. No, man. I meant to hit it towards the other ones here, but unfuck that up. And this one, son of a bitch. <laughs> Come on. Oh no, I destroyed that one. I didn't actually want to destroy that one. Ah! Uh. Uh. <laughs> can I jump that far? Wait, I can use magic. It's fine. I'm still gonna get it within the time limit. Hey, you're better than I thought. Not a good time, but at least we beat the time to beat. You know, you ain't bad, kid. <laughs> Looks like I'm headed for the games. Afraid not. Why not? Two words. You guys ain't heroes. Come on. Want to become a real hero? Start by mastering this spell. Attain the power of thunder. Learned magic spell, thunder. See, we probably should have come here first, actually, but oh well. Sorry, can't let you into the games just yet, but I can train you for them. Uh, I'm ready for the games. You don't get it, do you? No entry pass for you. Rude! Stubborn old goat, wouldn't you say? Who are you? <laughs> oh, hey, hold on there, Fuzzboy. Oh, there. Wait, let me guess. You want to enter the games, right? Well, then, hey, get a load of this. A pass? It's all yours. Good luck, kid. I'm pulling for you, little shorty. Aw, that random guy was so sweet, man. Gave us a nice pass to get in real quick. I don't think we need to leave, do we?
Hello, sir. I have a pass now. Hey, how'd you get this? Can we enter the games now? Well, I guess so. We start with the preliminaries. You ready? Let's go. Some real weirdos signed up for the games. Better watch yourself out there. No problem. We got this. I'm sure it'll be fine. Olympus Coliseum preliminary round. Call you Ow. I really wish we had some healing magic. Or at the very least, Donald had some healing magic. Calm down, Goofy. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal, man. You're no heroes yet, but you ain't doing bad. Lucky you came to me for coaching. Cloud over here looking like he spent the past 20 years in a desert wasteland or something. Something tells me he'll be a tough one to beat. Who knows? Maybe I'll end up facing him. I don't know why they decided to change Cloud's design so much for this game. I hope that's not Donald throwing away, ice, uh, throwing around ice spells. Because if you attack one of the little elemental bell things with their element, you're just going to heal them. <laughs> like, it doesn't end well for anyone. Now, if you use the opposing element against them, though, you get extra experience points, which, I mean, is nice. I'm really glad in Kingdom Hearts 2 you at least get experience points for the Coliseum matches. I think it's Kingdom Hearts 2 where, where you no longer collect experience points for your matches in the Coliseum in the games. Which is always bugged me. Ow. Oh god. These things suck so bad. Damn, we missed. <laughs> we missed again. Why? Do, why does magic suck? Okay, one left, and he's stunned. There we go. Thank God this section isn't timed. Say, you're better than I thought, kid. Wish he was here to see this. Who? Hercules. He's a hero if ever there was one. Too bad he's off visiting his father. The Shadow Platoon? Nope. Ow. I say as I walk right into the fucking spell. Oh god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh, buddy. Okay. Be good. There's just so much going on. <laughs> it's so hard to know where all the attacks are coming from. You just thin out the numbers a little bit, please, and thank you. And last guy. Little shadow. Whew. Just hit him, dude. <laughs> Donald's dead again. And Goofy. Good. All of my help's dead. That's fine. They're all useless anyways. Got 
guys have way too much fucking health. God damn it. Why do you not drop health orbs? Alright. How many more rounds are there? I don't remember. Hey! That little punk is your next opponent, okay? Now don't blow it. Just take him out. The great god of the underworld is afraid of a kid? Sorry, but my contract says... I know! You think I don't know? I wrote the contract! I know it says you're only required to kill Hercules in this tournament. But you gotta fight that kid to get to him! Come on! Hey, it's like that old goat says. Rule number 11. It's all just a game. So let loose and have fun with it! I mean, a casualty or two along the way. It's no big deal, right? <laughs> Cloud just as brooding Dude. as ever. Stiffer than the stiff's bag home. Still, suckers like him are hard to come by. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> uh okay, item potion. Oh god, this might be where we die. Use your special abilities, guys. Just <laughs> whatever you gotta do. Just holy hell. Oh my god, we're so fucked. I need heals. Oh god. Yep, this is a, this is a GG for us. <laughs> oh. That's fine. That's fine. Look, kid, I'll level with you. You just ain't ready yet. You need more practice first. A hero has to train to succeed. Got it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Sucks that we lost all of our items. I really wish... Oh man. If we want to shop, we got to fly all the way back to Traverse Town. And to do that, we have to do the stupid gummy thing again. <laughs> I don't want to do the gummy thing again. Uh, There's no, like, quick way to shop, is there? No. Son of a bitch. Why would they not have a shop here? All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do it again. Nothing else. It's experience points. I get why they don't drop money, but it'd be nice if they still dropped health pearls, health balls. In the back, dude? How why are you, like, sneaking up on him, Donald? Just use some magic, man. You got full... Oh, it's because I have him set to, like, only cure ever, basically, and he has no curing abilities. That's why he's not doing That's anything. The power of the that makes sense. I, I forgot about that point. Oh, we're already about dead. Hey, we got a new ability, though. That's cool. Vortex. I don't remember exactly what that one does. That might be, like, uh, an ability to close the gap whenever we're attacking somebody from too far away. Maybe. Probably where we die, unless Donald wants to suddenly level up and get some some healing magic. Yep, <laughs> that's fun. I guess we're gonna travel back to Traverse Town after I look at my abilities. 
And Donald and Goofy's, because they, they may have unlocked something too that I missed. You need more practice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. Uh, equipment. We also did get Ifrit's Horn, which gives us one extra AP. Um, what abilities do we have, though? You have the Berserk ability. Might as well equip it. Boost attack power when HP is critically low, which it's always going to be with Donald, so... And then Goofy got ch Charge. Charge and knock out an enemy with shield. I would rather have Jackpot, but for now, Jackpot doesn't do anything for us, so I'm going to change it to Charge. Um, I'm going to go ahead and equip Combo Plus and Vortex. Close the distance to nearby enemies with a powerful spinning attack. I might end up on equipping Combo Plus, but for now, I'm going to have it on. And then equipment, yeah, let's go ahead and give ourselves the Ifrit's Horn. Nobody needs the extra AP right now except for Goofy, but Goofy needs two to make it worth it anyways. Max HP and Strength. You know, yeah, I'll leave that on Goofy. Okay. Back to the gummy ship. Am I not in the... Wait, what? Oh, this isn't a full save point. That's why. I'm like, why can I not go to the gummy ship? We actually got to leave. <laughs> we we got to walk out of the area to do it here. I just hope we have enough money to make the trip worth our time. Because if we're here, it'd be nice to get a couple uh, accessories, maybe new weapons for Donald and Goofy. If they're unlocked yet. I, I don't remember any of the prerequis prerequisites for it unlocking the new weapons for them. But I know you can buy their weapons at uh, Huey Louie Dewey's shop. That's their name, right? I don't think I'm messing that up. Really wish we had a booster right about now <laughs> so we could drive faster. I'm going to try to collect all four. I guess maybe if we're going slow, maybe we'll actually be able to collect them all. Like, uh, or not. <laughs> no, okay. Well, <laughs> that was a waste of time. I was thinking maybe if we were going slow, we could grab, like, the top left, bottom right, top right, top left or something, or bottom left. I don't know. Whatever. Thought maybe we could make our way around and actually grab them, but it proved useless. At least we're getting all kind of pieces that we'll probably never use for our ship. That's nice. One thing I can honestly say, though, without sarcasm, at least the music's pretty decent. And the gummy ship missions. I never found myself, uh annoyed with the track, like tired of it from hearing it so many times. It's not exactly what I'd call a banger, but it's good enough to not get old, super old, super quick. I would like to go actually just to the first district, so we can go ahead and put out those candles too while we're here. Hopefully, regular Blizzard is enough to put those out, at least. Oh, and we have the uh, Thunder Spell, so we can go back and do that in the, uh, in the third district. And, and, 
assuming Heartless have respawned here by now, we should probably go ahead and give Goofy back Jackpot instead of Charge. Uh, turn the camera, please. Thank you. Uh, excuse me, last candle, please, quickly. Thank you. A defense up, very nice. I usually just give all of that stuff to Sora, honestly. There may be a better way to do it, like, I don't know, maybe giving it to Donald so he doesn't die constantly, but I don't really care about them. <laughs> if they die, it's not game over. If I die, it's GG, so... We don't have any more postcards, right? No. What do you got in the item shop, my guys? Anything new? Anything good? Welcome. Are you looking to buy? Yes. I want to buy... Hey, you do got the new weapons. Let's go. Uh, I'm probably going to buy every weapon. Even if that's kind of a waste of money. Just kind of have it. I like just having everything. And then buy a bunch of potions. Don't have enough money. Well, two, three, four, five. We can buy five stock. Equipment, Donald, instead of Mage's staff. Um. Reduces max MP by one. To be honest, right now he's not doing shit for magic attacks, so that's fine. Strength to 12. Small and easy to handle. Effective against various forms. Better suited for defense rather than offense. I don't really look for Goofy doing attacks that much. It's more about... I don't really know what I want Goofy to do, to be honest. Like... If his AI was a little bit better about not just wasting items, I guess I would just want him to be a guy that heals us and, and occasionally Donald. But he goes through items so quick when you give them to him, man. Have you gotten anything new? Ability stuffs are kind of nice for Goofy. Uh, nothing we really care about, though. Some fire and... and Ice resistance would be helpful for those stupid elemental bros, but eh, it'll be alright. Okay, the gummy shop isn't open yet. I don't think it opens until we get the other half of the Navi GPs. Hey, the Heartless are back! I thought they were once we left the, the world, but I couldn't remember for sure. Now we just need one of the abilities that lets us suck up all of the, the drops much more quickly. Without being like right on top of it. Since we're in town, we might as well go ahead and turn in the Dalmatians too. I initially went this way because honestly I just wasn't thinking. Um... But since we're already here in District 2, we can make a stop over there. Ooh, buddy, let's go. Hey, okay, cool. Mega Potion! I will gladly accept. Kind of hard to, to see what the hell is going on in these tight ass corridors. Ah, oh, Noodle, you know what? Remind me tomorrow, if you can hear me right now, to to pick up some some like taco shells and maybe some taco seasoning or something. We already have meat, so we just need like what cheese, taco shells, maybe some salsa. We have onions, so we can make some pickled onions. 
I'm really wanting tacos, and Bo always talking about tacos up there in the uh, in the corner makes me want them that much more. And I'd be surprised if you have any problems with tacos, so. <laughs> you get tired of them a lot quicker than I do, but we're both big taco fans. Tacos are pretty goaded. How do we actually collect our items? We just have to... Maybe we just haven't turned in enough yet to be given an item. Because I think, I think Mama and Daddy Dalmatian just gives it to us whenever we turn in enough to, to earn one. Yeah, I don't think there's anything special we're supposed to have to do, so... Can you tell it's been a few years since I played the game? So it has been. Yeah, okay. Must be. Alright then. Turned in the Dalmatians. We got the Mega Potion. Uh, new weapons for Donald and Goofy. I think all that's left is to shock the, the thing in the third district. For Traverse Town. We could go back to Alice in Wonderland and do the, the thing there with the thunder spell now. If we find that we're really struggling with the Coliseum after after doing the Traverse Town thing here, stuff that we're doing, trip, then, then maybe we'll consider doing that, but I'd rather not spend that much time in the gummy ship. It's much nicer once we get the warp drive. So then we can just revisit any world we've been to before without having to take a long trip around everything. Just definitely appreciated. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> Collecting up some money is nice too. We might be able to buy a, uh, an accessory or something before we go. Honestly, though, probably just more potions is what we'll get. For the Coliseum. So, I mean, like, in the normal overworld, if we're close to dying or something like that, we can always just run away. Go find a save point or something. And then, of course, people are always dropping little orbs of health, so we can collect those up after we kill one or two dudes. But in the Coliseum, things get much more difficult. And the fact that it's like a, a gauntlet style fight, right? Like a, 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 a series of fights without any, any break in between or whatever. Thunder. Okay, so that should power up the clock tower building, right? So now we can go there and collect the chests, I think. And then, does that unlock the, like, can we go to the top of the clock tower now too, or is that whenever we come back? That might just be whenever we come back to Traverse Town later. That part I don't remember for sure. But I'm pretty sure that that powered up the, the clock tower for us. Goofy's AP went up, very nice. So at this point we could give him the Ifrit Horn so he can use both of his abilities. Because I'm assuming he only got one point. Oh no, he did get two, he's good. Equip both. Who the clock tower? Enemy shouldn't have respawned yet because we've only been one screen away. In Kingdom Hearts, you have to go two screens away for, or two, two levels away. Two screens, I don't know, I consider them screens. Before enemies respawn that you've killed. Unless it's like a special event or something, then that can change it. But generally speaking, two screens. 
Having the ability that lets us hit people from farther away, the, the whirlwind or whatever, dude, that may, that alone makes things so much easier. It's much appreciated. Just like before, these guys are going to keep spawning with more and more of them in each group until we kill them all. Starting with one, then two, then three, and so on. I don't know for sure if it goes as long as it did with the, the Shadow Heartless. Wow. Yeah, it looks like it does. It does, just with, with the uh, El Capitans, the whatever the hell those dudes are called. I've probably spent, across the Kingdom Hearts franchise, I've probably spent, like, close to a thousand hours playing all these stupid games or, or watching the movies and the remixes and stuff like that. It is surprising how little I remember all of the enemy names and crap, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad. I mean, I guess the, the actual character names don't come up that often in the game, right? Like, you see them a lot, but they're not really calling them by name or whatever. It's not like Pokemon. But still, I see them in, like, the menus and shit all the time. Or looking up guides on, on where to grind for this or that. Like, <laughs> I think I would remember some of it by now. They just never end. Okay. Ah! <laughs> it's a good little grinding spot, though, man. Whenever you just need to grind in the early game. Because, I mean, these dudes just keep on coming. There we go. Why is Donald over there looking angry? I mean, honestly, I guess I shouldn't be that surprised. Donald's usually angry, but, like, dude, just chill. <laughs> uh, okay, this one. Jump, please. And then this one over here. Ooh, what's going on? Ah, some food, some apples. Good, he was getting hungry, man. Okay, so that's moving now. We hit all three things. Right? Yeah. Okay. So this is all fully activated. Examine. Clock is stuck at 654. Postcard, postcard. Let's go. Was that... I think that was it. I don't think we can do the thing on top of the clock tower yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go up there just to be sure. But I think they actually say something. Like, I think there's a story moment. Where there's, like... The clock tower starts going off or something, so you come to investigate. And I think that doesn't happen until, until later in the game. When you come back. If nothing else, it's some more just uh, lowly enemies that we can brutally murder, though, which is always nice. God, we're gonna end up falling. Ooh, I got another level up. Some strength, please and thank you. Dudes might die in like four or five hits now instead of 20. Much appreciated. Yeah, see, this here is still blocked with the, the chest, the type of chest that we can't hit or anything. So, yeah. I think, besides turning in the postcards, I think we're done here for now.
Maybe make a quick stop in the, uh, the item shop again. Grab a couple more potions or something. We probably have enough for an accessory, but... I don't know, man. You end up picking up so many accessories over the course of the game. I find myself hardly ever wanting to buy them. It's not like we really need them right now, right? Donald could could wear another one. But I think Goofy's maxed out. I'm maxed out. We don't need any extra AP, so it's not like super important that we get an AP one right now or anything. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I wonder... That one there... We jump from here. Let's go. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, come on. Come on. Okay. Uh, now Donald and Goofy just need to kill those dudes down there. <laughs> so that I can open this chest. Because in Kingdom Hearts 1, you can't open chests while enemies are around. So it's all up to you guys, man. Let's go. Another postcard. Okay, that takes us up to what? Four, five, six, seven? I think that's seven out of ten. Maybe eight. No, probably seven. I think we only collected three. Mail card. Mithril, cool, cool. Uh, I don't think you can put a comma in it, love. I think you just do 100,000, like, no commas. No card. That's six. Hey, and you won. Congrats. There's seven. Mega Elixir. And yeah, that's it. Okay. So where are the last three? You're sleepy. Leave you alone. All right, then. Fine. Uh, I think there's one in the hotel somewhere. Pretty sure there's some sort of puzzle we can do there. There might be one in the area that's not unlocked yet. And then the last one's maybe just Trinities? It's probably just Trinities. And we just have to wait until we get deep enough into the story to do the, the Trinities. It's my guess. Okay, I want to buy... 8, 9, 10... Can we afford 15? 10 would be 250, so yeah, we should be able to. We're all in stock. Thank you kindly. <sighs> See, the other annoying thing is I'm going to end up equipping all these potions and things for us. And then going to go to the Coliseum. And Donald and Goofy are just going to use them all before we get it, even get into like the first real fight. The... the hard ones. They're just going to use them instantly. I know it. I wonder if I should give myself like a mega potion or something. Mega potion, ether, or elixir for like emergencies. Because it'll heal all party members. So when the other two are like dead, this will get them back up and running around without me having to go through the menu or waste a, a, a potion on them but that also means I have one less potion in my slots which which sucks I think I'm gonna keep one in there though hopefully with them spamming potions left and right it won't really be that big of a deal and oh no not abilities customize so Donald is using HP items frequently Maybe I'll change it to only an emergency for both. The only problem with that, we have so little HP that we actually get the, the flashing HP like thing pretty rarely. Since right now it's like early game and we're broke, I'm going to put them on only an emergency, but normally I put them on frequently. I don't know the exact mechanics of it, but I'm pretty sure on frequently they'll use it just whenever you're like half way down on your HP, whereas in emergency they only use it whenever you're basically like flashing red, like, yo, I'm about to die, dude, sort of deal, you know? 
Uh, but anyways, guys, I need to take a short break just so I can stand up, stretch, get a drink, maybe even warm up my pizza because I'm starting to get a little bit hungry. But we'll be back for like another hour of Kingdom Hearts in just a few minutes. Like, it seems to require a little bit of reading, which for like small, small children might be an issue. What age do kids start learning to read? Like, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't been a kid in a long time. I don't really remember what age I learned to uh, learn to read at this point, you know? But yeah, tell me more about uh, Craftopia there, Nate, if you don't mind, man. I am curious about it. I do like survival crafting games. Like I said, I've been playing uh, some Seven Days to Die with, uh, you know, just with my brother and whatnot. And a friend of ours. And uh, it's been pretty fun. Seven Days to Die, for anybody who doesn't know, is essentially like... It's like basically Minecraft. <laughs> like, there's mining, there's crafting, you build a base. And then roughly every seven days... Roughly every seven days, there's a uh, horde of zombies that come to kill you. Instead of just a uh, like the random ones that are out and about. And then you like you get missions that you can do like treasure hunts that you can dig for treasure and whatnot and then there's like missions to collect supplies that have been hidden in different areas uh like different houses or waypoints or whatever missions to meet other traders to to clear out an area whatever the case may be and uh when you do that you get experience as well as loot of course that you can use and then you can you know with experience, make yourself a better crafter, unlock new recipes, all that kind of good stuff. So it's actually, it's pretty fun. It's not bad, man. I, uh, I'm pretty sure I got it on like Humble Bundle at some point or something. So I don't really remember how much money I paid for it. But like, it's fun. And it's got a, uh, you can host private servers. You can rent servers. You can make public servers. Uh, you can play peer to peer and all that stuff. So like, it's a lot of fun. There's a big modding scene for it too, it looks like, which is pretty cool. Like uh, the one mod I would definitely suggest for anybody that decides to try out Seven Days to Die is uh, the one for the UI. Cause the UI is the one thing that like kind of sucks in Seven Days to Die, I'm not gonna lie. For a game that's been being worked on for I think 10 years is what my brother was telling me. It's a little rough around the edges, man. It's missing some polish, like similar to Minecraft. You're still somewhat early game. You're kind of chilling on the first island, upgrading to the next stage as much as I can. I have to look it up or something, man. So, like, similar to Minecraft, but you're saying, like, there's... Oh, when you win the stuff, you get big batteries. Okay. Uh, who do we want to play as, man? I kind of want to play as Chucky. I like Chucky. Anyways, uh... But, yeah, like, you mentioned progressing to the next stage. Does that mean... Like, you have to do research, or is it just, like, as you level up, or how does, like, the, the ages and shit work in it? I'm always looking for new games to play, so, like... <laughs> Not that I have time to play any games, really, but, like, shit, still. That's nice. I'm glad that it has the... It's, like, all lit up to show us that we've already beaten that level. What, uh, what happens if we go to it again? 390 now? Oh, okay, okay, okay. So those are all the prizes, not what it costs to enter. All right, so we got two of the little batteries, but there's still one big battery. Or, we got the big battery and one little battery, but there's still one little battery left in there. And then still 390 bucks that we can pick up. But we don't have to, I'm assuming. We just had to beat the levels to get the big batteries to power this thing up maybe to get the ladder unlocked or something i don't really know man collect crafting materials hunt animals fish there's dungeons they're supposed to be mining also you progress through ages to unlock more items you're currently renaissance renaissance you'd have to collect and craft items required for progressing and have enough money that's pretty dope actually man is there multiplayer too or is it all single player shit
So our goal on this one is just to get to the top without dying, essentially? Like... <laughs> oh, and we can throw snowballs. Okay. It's weird that the, the snowballs are, like, yelling at us, man. They're, like, taunting us. Taunting us. Ah! <laughs> I like our, our health bar over there, man. The, uh... Oh, shit. Okay. We're, we're actually gonna die, aren't we? Holy crap, dude. Snowmen are vicious. Is there a way to, like, aim what we throw or no? And those Angelica boxes really freaking blow up, dude. There's some mean snowmen for real, man. Very rude. Is there, like, I, want, I need some health or something would be nice. You can't catch me. Single and multiplayer? Excellent, dude. You have to check it out. Craftopia, huh? I'm assuming it's a PC game, right? I can't imagine it being not a PC game. Ah, uh, right before we got the battery, too, that snowman is just gonna deck us. Sorry, we'll just try again. Dude, you already murdered him. Stop throwing the snowballs. Honestly, I'm surprised Chucky's not, like, crying or something, to be honest. Like, it's kind of his MO, you know? Oh, shit, and whenever we lose, we get sent all the way back down to the bottom. <laughs> Maybe we can just get some new toys. Dude, I love Chucky. Chucky's a whole mood on his own, man. Are each one of these coins only worth one, or are they worth more? Because otherwise, we're kind of screwed if all of our people, they're only worth one. So if we were to die five times, would it basically just be game over at that point? Or like, how the hell does that work, you know? You decide you're actually going to use this game for your first couple test streams because it's super laid back. And the dying mechanic is a lot more forgiving than Minecraft's. It's currently on Game Pass for PC. Hell yeah, dude. That makes it even better. I don't have Game Pass at the moment or anything that but you know free games are nice <laughs> well not free but you know jesus you freaking snowmen and does that like actually kill them it does okay so we should maybe actually try to kill them instead of instead of just running from them all you can get it for a dollar i'm sure uh maybe i feel like i did try game pass technically at some point I don't think I ever actually downloaded anything on it, but, and I've definitely had Xbox Live before, but I don't know. Regardless though, I mean, even if I had to pay for Game Pass, I wouldn't be mad about it. Although it's, the game's not too much though, I might just buy the game on its own. I do like owning games. If uh, you couldn't tell by, you know, all the PS2 shit that I, <laughs> that I buy and own. I also have quite a uh, quite a Steam library, more games than is really necessary. Most of those I have gotten from like uh, humble bundles and shit like that, though. Another amazing deal for any aspiring PC gamers out. All right, there we go. Decided to eat my pizza. I was getting hungry. <clears throat> Let me get a drink real quick. Meh. <laughs> Noodle's not a big fan of the pizza. I think it's okay. Not my favorite kind, but it's okay. It's just like a local-ish pizza place, not like a uh, not like a chain place or anything like that. But it's fine. Uh, so what were we doing? Okay, we contemplated going back to Wonderland, but we've leveled up once or twice. We're gonna try doing Olympus Coliseum. Gonna try. We got a bunch of potions. We're a little bit more prepared now. We might be good. Just gotta, just gotta believe, man. Really can't wait until we unlock more shit for our gummy ship. <laughs> just the shit that lets us obliterate all of the, the ships coming our way. And just full speed ahead constantly. I need a NOS tank to put on this thing, man. 
so we can zoom through here. I'm not gonna lie, oftentimes what I do is I'll just put myself roughly in the middle here, something like this, and then I'll just hold these buttons down and then just like browse my phone <laughs> with my other hand or something. Because <laughs> like the chances of you dying in these missions is pretty slim, even with the basic ship. Like, yeah, sure, you take some damage, but it's usually not all that much damage. And as long as you're shooting straight ahead, you're probably going to kill the majority of things that are actually going to give you any, any issues. So you really don't even have to pay attention, man. You just <laughs> hold the fire button. Thankfully, it auto shoots for you. Check out what's new on Reddit or iFunny or wherever you like to, to waste time on the internet. Get the latest, uh, <laughs> the latest Twitter drama. Noodle, thank you so much for the five more bits, love. I appreciate you, dude. I wonder... So like you mentioned wanting to buy dragon coins for the nights I don't stream I wonder if it's possible to still grab dragon coins or not I know I can give them to people uh, and I'm pretty sure I can do that even on the days where I'm not streaming but even when I give them to people it still pulls it from the the pool of two or whatever it still pulls it from the pool of two so I can't just like give them away willy-nilly it's just if, like if I wanted to, I could disable people buying them and then I could just give them away for like, I don't know, people who say the magic word or something for the day. I don't know. First two people to answer question of the day. Uh, you know what I should have done? I should have saved. Oh, well, that just means we got to beat it first try. <laughs> That's all. Lame, what a loser. I'm not the one that made it. They're not my rules. Give one to the person you love most. <laughs> I don't think that's quite fair if I just give you one every day, though. Oh my god, you suck. <laughs> Stick it back, you little dick. So just having the twister ability honestly makes things so much easier. Because it gives us a little bit more reach on our attacks. It's not like a ton, right? We can't hit people from across the, the play field here. But when we're just like a few inches too far away, it helps boost us up to it. Me too, Bo. Me too. What I really want to see pop up is Donald has learned cure magic. Or cure, whatever it says. That's really that's really all I want in life at the moment. But I feel like that's probably a story unlock, not a level unlock. Why are you so focused on these guys? Sometimes the auto select, auto target rather, pisses me off, man. <laughs> like Sometimes it selects some absolutely stupid targets. Okay. Not too bad. I, at the very least, haven't used any of my healing items yet. I've only seen them use one or two of theirs that I've seen. Nice, dude. That was a quick one. The game's not too loud or anything, is it? Sometimes I look over and the the little like 
thing. I, I'm sure it has a name, but I can't remember what it's called. Where it shows you, like, volume levels and things. <laughs> Sound mixer, I guess? I don't know. Anyways, it looks awfully high sometimes. I think I am going to turn down just a little bit more after... Well, here, I can do it now. I don't know if it's just the Coliseum music that's loud or what, but... Yeah. Oh, you bastard. You are annoying! Oh my god, and of course Goofy pushed him away from me whenever I was in the middle of trying to murder him. GG? Yep. I'm a little worried by the fact that... Was it Donald or Goofy? One of them sitting in the red for health, and they haven't gotten an auto heal yet. Like, Donald's literally dead right now, and Goofy hasn't healed him. That's a little worrisome. I seriously hope they haven't used all of their items up already. Oh god, okay. Oh my god, can I please hit them? No, not you. I don't care about you right now. I just want to get rid of this guy. And then... Nice. Whew. Okay. It's honestly one of the hardest rounds, so... Until the finale, that is. Oh, God. Nice, nice. Donald's down. Big surprise. Ow. Damn, dude. Oh, buddy. Is that the best you can do? You know what? Honestly, I was going to try not to use a Mega Potion, but... Ow. I keep pressing circle to dodge roll instead of square. God, I don't think he's even close to being dead, man. He's really hoping to parry. Okay, he's going to do that three times, right? No, I guess not. Damn. Ah. <laughs> Last round, too, dude. Donald and Goofy being dead and not giving me any heals kind of sucked. Snap. <laughs> now for the real fight. Oh, right. there was one other and the boy. reason why I didn't want to use the Mega Accident. Potion. But I really wanted to try to be Cloud, man. I don't remember if we actually get anything for doing it, but... Damn it, I wanted to. Oh god, I'm gonna sneeze. Hey, Phil! Get them out of here! Bring them out of here! Huh. Whew, that was close. That was Cerberus, the guardian of the underworld. Herc should be able to handle him. But then again, maybe not. This doesn't look so good. I mean, we're not just going to let him die, my guy. Okay, did they... Oh my god, they really did. They used every single potion already. Like, you see what I mean? <laughs> These guys suck, dude. Even set to, to the lowest level of using potions, they just go through them so quick. I 
And I get it that they're like, we're relatively early in the game. They, they don't have very much health. They're only regular potions, not high potions or anything like that. But holy hell, man. Kid, you're not entering the arena, are you? This ain't just some match. This is for real. I'm not afraid. <laughs> you can decide if I'm hero material or not. Be careful, kid. Hate to burst your bubble, but he's never going to truly uh, recognize you as a hero, my guy. Okay, so what strategy do we play here? Do we stand back and try to play safe? Or do we just get up in his face and fucking wail on him, man? Preferably, we get on his back. Like now. Can I get on his back now? Yeah, there we go. Oh, God. <laughs> that didn't last long. <laughs> How did I get knocked off his back already, dude? God damn it, Donald. Stop dying, dude. Holy shit. That heal came through just in the nick of time. Okay, you know what? Holy crap. I didn't think it was going to hit us from that far away, to be honest. We can hit those balls back at him, too, which is nice, but I was sucking pretty hardcore, though. Okay, there we go. He's down. Okay, maybe get on his back this time and don't instantly fall off or somehow get hit. Can we just not hit him anymore? I could have swore you can hit him from his back like that, man. I don't know why I'm getting hit so quick. It's fine. I should have loaded game though, instead of continuing. Because when you continue, you keep your experience, but see, all the items are gone. <laughs> oh no, wait. Okay, the checkpoint triggered before the items got set. What? Huh, or no, maybe you don't keep your experience either actually. Maybe it does do a full reset? I don't know. I could have swore that it, all the items that used and everything were, were gonzo. Hey, in this case though, I'm happy to be wrong. All right, let's uh get up in the stands maybe and try to, to reflect the, the void balls, whatever the hell they're supposed to be. I got two words of advice for you. Attack! Ow. It'd really help if I could see. You know what? Thunder. I don't know if he's like susceptible to thunder at all, but it's something at least. Because getting in there when he's doing all that, that just looks like a, a recipe for a bad time, dude. Yeah, God. Did I just get one shot? I was probably already missing health. I had to have already been missing health. <laughs> Okay, so now we know, even if we're not, like, super low on health, we can still get hit and fucking die. Quickly, very quickly. Saw a funny meme earlier and you're still giggling about it? What was it? You can't just tell us you saw a meme and not share it with the class, dude. Alright, come on, we got this. Yeah, 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 I'm going in there.
Okay, for this first volley, I think I'm just gonna run. Well, I, got two words I don't know. We'll see. For you. Attack! I was gonna say maybe because like last time we took so many hits from the the volley of the void balls that maybe it'd make more sense just to run. But if we can get the like camera in a place where we can actually see it. Okay, well, I mean, we kind of reflected a couple of them. Wait, why can I not use thunder? Is it, am I too far away? Or was I too far away? And you know what? I'm like scared to get up in there. I guess I'll use a potion on myself. God damn it. Oh my god. Yeah, just take all the hits, you dumbass. Oh my god. <laughs> I wish they wouldn't do that too, with the, the double use of potions like that. It'd be really cool if they didn't. Said the H and G stage Christ stands for Hoobastank because Christ died and the, for a reason, and the reason is you. I did see that one. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, why can I not hit these parries, man? If I go in there, I feel like I'm just dead. So I'm hoping that with the parries, I can actually, you know, survive a little bit. But I can't, like, attack fast enough for the volley. Damn. Okay, a couple more hits on him. Here. Heal myself so I don't insta-die for the next volley. There we go. Gotta hit one and then fucking dodge roll. <laughs> Be real nice if the camera would look at my enemy. There's nothing for you t for you to attack, Cerberus. Just give up. <laughs> give up on that. There you go. Do do your little poundy thing and start shooting at me again. Okay, I said dodge roll, not dodge into. Oh god. Do you have any potions left? Donald, Goofy, anyone? No? Okay. Goofy's just gonna die chilling down there, man. <laughs> Goofy's just chilling on his back now. GG, Goof. I don't know how many of these you have to volley to actually kill him, but like... I don't think we're volleying, vol, vo yeah, <laughs> parrying. I don't think we're smacking the damn balls hard enough <laughs> for us to win with this method, man. I think we're a little bit screwed here. We're out of potions. Oh God. We don't have any magic. Summons aren't unlocked yet. I mean, if we survive long enough, Donald and Goofy will keep attacking. Which will do some damage. Link treasure, ma oh, I do like treasure magnet. That's the one that I've been wanting. The one that uh, sucks in the, the crap. Oh God, I forgot about this one. Okay, just keep, just keep running. Uh, Donald Goofy, it's all up to you guys, because I, I am fucking dead, man. <laughs> this probably means he's about dead, but, like, 
If I get even hit once, I'm I'm done. Is he gonna is he gonna shoot at us without doing the the flares from from hell? <laughs> no, no he's not. Uh, he is now, but I can't fucking see him to actually hit anything back at him. Huh. Star Booty 3. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, dude. God. Donald Goofy just like, come on. <laughs> just need to make some music play and he'll fall asleep. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I think I'd rather be fighting the uh, Harry Potter Cerberus right now. Fluffy. Oh, what did I get hit by? One of the things must have came up from the ground. Oh, dude. All right. Well, look, this is the perfect opportunity to see. Do we keep our experience when we hit continue or no? Do we have tre treasure magnet? No. So, yeah, we lost all of our experience. Ah, uh, <laughs> we'll get your harp ready. Damn, dude. All right. Maybe. I hate the idea of using all of, like, the good items. But screw it. These guys can still just have the shitty potions, though. They don't need the good stuff. Alright. Trying again. If we don't get it this time, I guess... Uh, I guess we'll just leave. Come back after we, we grind a tiny bit. I mean, this is what the, the fourth try or something like that. Obviously, we're <laughs> we're struggling here. Kid, I got two words of advice for you. Attack! We just gotta parry better, man. Knock back those void balls without getting hit so much would honestly be a huge help. The camera not being such ass would be a huge help, too. Thunder, thunder, thunder. I guess while they still have potions, it would be smart to get in there and actually, like, try and attack a little bit. God damn it, camera. Get on his back. Oh my god, dude. Why do I suck so much? Seriously? Game? Oh my god. <laughs> maybe... Maybe the strat was just to stay on his back, man. <laughs> no. No, that didn't work. Okay. I know I've beat him before without struggling nearly this hard. I just don't remember what I did differently. I thought it was just hop on his back and beat on the, the back of his head. But every time we've tried that, he's, he's wrecked our shit. Like that. <laughs> Damn, okay. No, don't do not do that. Items. Screw it. Mega Potion. Get Donald back up too, I guess. Not that I particularly want to get Donald up, but like, he's fine on the ground, honestly. I 
I want to try to save as many of the potions as I can for whenever he starts doing the, the void thing, because at that point, I feel like we have no real choice but to get in close. Okay, he's starting the void crap now. Again already, okay. Okay, he's stunned for a second. Nice, nice, get out. Run away, run away, run away. <laughs> uh, I took too long. Okay, there we go. Uh, run away, run away. <laughs> thunder, thunder. I don't know if Thunder's actually like useful against Cerberus or not, but uh, it's like it's the safest spell to use, man. Honestly, Donald, I would have much rather you had used that on me instead of on Goofy. Oh god. Yes, there you go. Offensive magic, Donald. That's what you're good for. Okay, let him strike. Oh, no, he's doing the void thing again. Never mind. Just keep rolling. Just keep rolling. Okay, and then... Oh, damn. Okay. Now's not the time to be stingy. Use the potions. Okay. These fireballs are too close for comfort. One of them hit one of the fireballs back. Ah, we got hit by two. God, he's got to be close, man. Come on. They okay, wait for him to do a, a, a big strike. Excellent. Get a couple hits in. Okay, run the hell away. Run the hell away. <laughs> All right. Really wish we could see health values. I just want to know how close he is or isn't. Ah, oh, damn it. I didn't jump in time. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Max HP up. Strength up. And I think Donald got his, uh, his, his treasure magnet thing or whatever. Thank God for thunder, dude. <laughs> I had no idea he was that close to dying. Inferno band. Very nice. I will gladly accept. Thus, I do hereby dub thee junior heroes and confer upon thee full rights and privileges to participate in the games. Further... Hey, what do you mean, junior heroes? You rookies still don't understand what it takes to be a true hero. So, what does it take? Well, that's just something you'll have to find out for yourselves. Just the way that I did. No problem. We'll start by proving ourselves in the games. You know, I don't see you out here doing any hero shit. Gotta clean up the mess from that last battle first. What's his okay. name again? Phil? We'll be back. <laughs> I still can't believe that Squirt actually beat Cerberus. Just between us, I'd already worn Cerberus down by the time the little guy jumped in. 
My lips are sealed. I'm pretty sure you didn't do shit there, uh, Hercules, but you know what? That's fine, man. Whatever makes you uh, sleep at night, lets you sleep at night. Oh, hi there, Cloud. Thanks for not, you know, killing us whenever you kicked our ass. Hey, are you all right? Yeah. So, why did you go along with him anyway? I'm looking for someone. Hades promised to help. I tried to exploit the power of darkness, but it backfired. I fell into darkness, and I couldn't find the light. You'll find it. I'm searching too. For your light? Don't lose sight of it. How about a rematch sometime? Fair and square, no dark powers involved. I think I'll pass. He's just scared, that's all. <laughs> he knows I'd kick his ass. Sonic Blade, very cool. Uh, do we have the AP to equip it though? No, <laughs> not even close. Uh, I mean, I'm not, I don't really care about combo plus. Gotta keep the dodge roll though, though, and Vortex is just very handy, man. So I think we're gonna have to hold off until we get at least one more AP. Did we get any other equipment? The Inferno Ban. Reduces fire and dark damage by 20%, also raises defense. Go ahead and swap that, probably. And then Donald, you can have the Protect Chain because whatever. Abilities, Donald, no, it must have been Goofy that got the Treasure Magnet. Okay, in that case, go ahead and take off Charge and equip Treasure Magnet. Charge is fine and all, but I care more about money and you collecting the extra health orbs around you would, would come in handy too to keep yourself alive. He's strong. He's kind. He's always there for you. And he's handsome to boot. He's perfect. Perfect. Perfectly infuriating. He's crazy. <sighs> Wait a minute. Be worried about. All the pieces are in place. Relax. Whoa, 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 whoa. Here's what you do. Let Hercules train the kid. In the next games, I'll take care of them both. Come on. Who invited you to the party? Stay out of this. This is my show. As you wish. Fight to your heart's content. That was some good lip syncing there on Maleficent, man. A plus. Hey, another world down. Uh, if we had the warp drive, we'd stop back over in Wonderland, but we don't. So, no. <laughs> Not going the long way around just for that, man. I really wish we had bigger engines and some nitrous. Anything to let us go faster, please. <laughs> we, need, we need to unlock some larger engines. I don't care about collecting any of this crap. I'm not going to try to build some sort of uber ship. When I was a kid, I was never very good at designing the gummy ships either. So what I did then is I would just build a giant box <laughs> with all just square pieces throw a uh, cockpit, whatever the highest level cockpit I had was, 
cut out a hole in the back for all of the engines and holes on the side for, for all of the weapons and like sides or front or whatever. And just be like, there you go, man. Just a couple wings so that I could turn a little bit more easily and, and that was it. It was basically just a giant brick flying through space is all I ever used. I was happy enough with it. It got the job done. Oh my God, seriously? I didn't think that thing was gonna blow up, dude. What are all these structures meant to be out here in space? Like, why are they here? That's some lore that I don't think they ever explain. If this whole, like, other world space travel shit is supposed to be super secret business, who's going around building all these giant hoops and, and blocks and just marking highways with them, essentially, in between the worlds? It makes no sense, man. Hey, Donald. Maybe King Mickey's down there. In a backwater place like that? No way. Let's move on. Next line of text, please. Hold on. Riku and Kairi might be down there. Let's just check it out. Forget it. We're on an important mission. Just land. <laughs> oh, Donald and Sora. No. <laughs> Why you gotta be such a dick, Donald? Ah, fooey. We're landing. Don't touch that. <laughs> no. God. This is so fucking dumb, man. Or. Love how we go from kicking the ass of a giant three-headed dog to damn near getting our ass kicked by a, a leopard. Like. Because <laughs> that makes perfect sense. Sabor. Danger. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, what is this place? This place, this place. Okay. I mean, Where he's not wrong. Others go? This place is this place. Look, I got separated from my friends. Have you seen them? Mm hmm? Friends. Friends. Right, my friends. There's two of them. The loud one is Donna. Do you mean Jesse McCartney? <laughs> you know what? Never mind. I'm looking for my friends, Riku and Kairi. He's not looking really in this game. Riku. Kinda, but friends. not really. Right. Kairi, friends. Uh, right. Um, oh, friend, here. Really? 
Friends, here. Not sure I understand, but show me. Take me to Riku and Kairi. Tarzan. Tarzan, go. And I'm Sora. Tarzan, go. Sora, go, go. <laughs> Sora's such an idiot. Deep jungle, man. No Donald, no Goofy, but hey, we got Tarzan and and Where are we? Kyrie haunting us. <laughs> I sure hope Sora's okay. Yeah, I mean we can't really change our party right now. I don't know why it's asking. Um, let's see, can we go up top yet? Yes. I don't know if we're technically meant to be able to go up here yet, but we can. And around the corner here maybe? I know there's a couple chests here. I just don't remember exactly where. that one over there that we can get to eventually or actually we might be able to get it to it now if we jump from up top here I could have I thought there was another one but is it at the top here or am I just misremembering could be either ah no it's right there okay good 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 don't fall <laughs> open Ooh, Proterra chain. Very nice. I will gladly take that. Do we need... We do kind of need more AP right now. So I guess we're getting rid of that one. Oh, wait, no. It just leaves our defense the same, so never mind. That would increase our defense by one, but decrease our AP by one. And again, we kind of need the extra AP because we're trying to get the... Uh, uh, damn it. <laughs> Whatever. We can go up again. We're trying to get the, uh, the, the cloud ability thing. Sonic Blade or whatever. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Two seconds. This... Is this where we want to be? Oh, son of a... Okay, I'm just going to go the way I went last time. So I want to get all the way up top so we have the, the longest jump possible. I can't remember exactly where that brings us out at. Oh, that was close. Like, I can't remember if it brings us out somewhere that we can we can get around to go up here because i think how do we go into first person mode there it is i think we can jump and between jumping and swinging our sword i think we can make that jump over to there yeah dude open more mithril. I mean, I guess it wasn't that big of a deal, but hey. I like stuff. And we can just jump off here. Another 
chest, please. And that just takes it to the top. Okay. I got to remember the layout of this area. It's not as bad as, like, uh, Alice in Wonderland is with all of its upside-down BS and, and rotating doors or trees with doors attached to them and all that, but it still get a little bit confusing sometimes. I suppose you should try to wrap the rest of the gifts. I mean, that sounds like a good idea. Man. <laughs> Damn it, I always get hit by that one, man. And, okay, well, that one too now. Now, oh, well, I thought we would be able to go ahead and clear that path to the left, but either I suck or it just wasn't an option right now. I mean, I'm pretty sure the game wants us to go here anyways, so... Recipe for ether, ice the ingredient. Uh, can I do that now? I forget the exact order that we need to do things in. By the way, notice the, the tea set? Huh? Does that look familiar to anyone? I don't know if they put that there just because they they needed it. They wanted a tea set there and they had already had that stuff modeled. Or if it's a little Easter egg, I'm not sure. But eh? Beauty and the Beast, huh? I always thought it was kind of neat. I don't know. <laughs> Vecna is near? What? <laughs> because of the clock? Um. Can I, can I get up here? Replication experiment and replicating items. Okay. Can I not? I could have swore that I could jump up there. Put the potion in the pot quickly. Potion is in the pot. It's ready to be heated. Light it. Uh, fire. fire. Light, light the stove. I'm, there we go. Stove has been lit. Cooking ready, ready obtained high potion. Hey! Aren't we fancy? One more information. Find research note one. Where's research note one hidden at? Uh, it's probably like up top and I just can't freaking <laughs> remember how to get up there. If we jump on the barrel and then... Ah, there's like no ledge or anything for me to grab onto. Hold on. Lift. And drop. Okay, there's another slide. And this should be the final slide, but where's the research note at? Is it at the top? I don't know. No? Okay. That's, I mean, I guess that probably would have been an easier way to get onto the tent. Oh, there's the other slide. Maybe we have to do the trendy or something to get the last research note. It's the only thing I can think of. I am not seeing it here anywhere. Let me check that one. Ooh, 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 hold on. There we go. Recipe for ether. I don't know who's ride hiding all the research notes around like this, but let's begin. 
starting the experiment. Potion was put in. Putting in the ingredients, ice it. Deep freeze. Conducting the replication experiment. Obtained ether. Thanks, man. All right, now we can go in here. So close, Nate. Honestly, I'm surprised that's not some kind of win, just because, you know, the two wings with the, the head in the middle. Like, they look like they match up. Jane. Make part of a bigger picture. Tarzan. Oh, and who's this? Uh, hi there. I'm... Oh, you speak English. So then, obviously you're not related to Tarzan. Are you here to study the gorillas? Highly doubtful. Sorrow! Goofy! Donald! <laughs> A circus of clowns. Not much use for hunting gorillas. Mr. Clayton, we're studying them, not hunting them. This is research. Well, the more the merrier. Do make yourselves at home. Well, anyway, I'm saying. Huh? Sora, look what we found. Look at this. <laughs> What's that? A gummy block. It's the same stuff used to build our ship. So that means the king could be here. It's all you care about, dude. <laughs> Screw my friends. Who cares about them, right? As long as we find the king. What dicks. So, we've got to work together to look for him. For now. <laughs> Fine. I'll let you tag along. <laughs> for now. God. Idiots, both of them. Uh... Honestly, I hate Donald. <laughs> Just... We'll take Goofy, man. <laughs> like... <laughs> Until Donald gets the cure spell, I, I don't even care for him around. He can he can go away. Mythal Shard, very nice. Might as well throw down a save. And... Talk to you. What was her name? Jane? Apparently Tarzan was raised in the jungle by the gorillas. Communicating communicating with him still isn't easy, but he's learning. So he was speaking in gorilla back there. Ah, oh, that's right. You're looking for your friends. He said Riku and Kairi are here, and one word I couldn't understand. Why don't we try this? We'll show Tarzan some slides and see if any of them match that word. Oh, what happened to the slides? You mean these slides? <laughs> What's wrong, Sora? Uh, uh, nothing. This place, it just looks so familiar. But how? I've never been off my island. Very strange, dude. Wonder why Sora notices that, or recognizes that. If I don't find it before you're done, I need help finding a rubber band. Why'd you go and lose a rubber band, Noodle? <laughs> how did you lose a, love, a rubber band, love? View the slides with the projector. I think there may be one more. Damn it, dude. We're still missing one. It flew off the wrapping paper. Oh, like you had it on the wrapping paper to uh, to hold it together or whatever, and it fell off. Oh, I can't do the trendy because I don't have Donald with me. Uh, I wish it would automatically switch out the party members. And your cutter is too small for the paper you're using. You got that fancy cutter and you can't even use it, dude. That sucks. Tarzan's actually pretty strong. That's why I like having him in the party. I should have checked to see if he had any um, equipment or anything on him before I removed him from the group. Hey, more Dalmatians. Okay, where is this last freaking note at? Or slide at, rather. It's right there. I see it already. Oh, look. A nice, easy way to get on top of the tent, too. too. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I can't believe I missed that earlier.
Well, Tarzan? Where are my friends, Riku and Kairi? Hey, I, I thought... That leaves just one place. Young man, we've been in this jungle for some time now. But we have yet to encounter these friends of yours. I'd wager they're with the gorillas, but Tarzan refuses to take us to them. For good reason. Really, Mr. Clayton? Tarzan wouldn't hide. Then take us there. Take us to the gorillas. Gorillas. Tarzan, are you sure? Tarzan, go see Kerchak. Kerchak? He must be the leader. Perfect. I'll go along as an escort. No. After all, the jungle is a dangerous place. Pretty sure Tarzan will be fine, man. He kind of grew up here. <laughs> sure, he knows these jungles and its dangers way better than you do. To be honest, you're not even quite sure how it works. Don't you just, like, measure out the paper you need, put the whole thing over the, the roll? With the, uh, blade... Uh on the paper, and then you just slide it, right? Like, I've never used it before, but I saw it, and that's the only way that it could be used from from how it looks. Find out when you use a skinnier roll, I guess. Bastard. There we go. Get wrecked, Spork, or whatever the hell your name was again. Uh, this is not the right way to go. But I'm going this way anyways because we need the experience points. You found the rubber band, but you lost the cutter now. Good job, love. Oh, wait. Is nothing going to spawn in here? Really? Okay, then. Well, we'll grab this chest that should be up here. Mega potion and mithril shard. I think that was it for this area. For now, at least. We'll come back here later. Believe you me. But for now, that's it. How did you lose the cutter, though? That thing's pretty big. Like a rubber band, I get, man. Those are tiny. And they kind of fling themselves off to God knows where. But a big ass wrapping paper cutter? La Hippo's Lagoon. I hate this area, man. <laughs> I hate it with a passion. These hippos suck major ass. Oh my god, and that's why it's so hard to get on them sometimes. I, mean, I guess we need to get this one anyways. I wonder if we can reach that last one there before we get the, the glide or high jump or whatever. Okay, well, I don't think we can reach that one. I'm going to try again. I found it. Do you realize who you're... I mean, yes, I do, but holy shit, love. Uh, maybe from here we can get over there early? Uh, I don't think we're supposed to grab the item yet that I'm trying to get, but it might be possible, though, and that means I want to try. I think this one over here was closer, but... Can we make the jump after that, though? Probably not. Okay. This jump here, without being able to grab the ledge? Ooh. Okay. Ah, you bitch. Okay, I guess not. I'm not going to try for that one anymore. I am going to try to get to that last chest over there, though. Let's go. More Dalmatian puppies. I 
I mean, you can usually get there from jumping on the hippos' backs, but I just, I hate those stupid hippos. <laughs> it's, it's so easy to miss them, dude. When you're jumping across. Kerchak, please listen to me. I know the nesting grounds are secret, but I trust them. You see, I want to help them because... Maybe because try speaking to him not in English. Yes. Oh, did you get that? No. Kerchak. Oh, that's right. He is speaking in. <laughs> in Gorilla. Kerchak. We just have TARDIS magic running through us right now, apparently. Seems sort of distracted by something. Was he looking towards the treehouse? Swing through the treetops on the vines. Select jump on to grab a vine, then swing to the next one by selecting jump next. Vines will break if you hang on to them for too long. Uh, can we like climb up from here? You know what? I take it back. This place is more confusing than I remember. <laughs> okay, I think the flowers want cure magic use on them. I think. We could probably use potions on them too, but it's a lot of potion usage. And I'd rather not waste all my potions when I don't even remember what these things do. Uh, Treehouse Vines 2? Let's, uh, we don't have much time left. We'll explore more whenever we, we come back next week. For now, let's just go ahead and get some of the story stuff out of the way. Check, please. Don't just scared the shit out of that guy, dude. <laughs> you don't understand. I was only trying to. Ah, a snake slithered by. You see, I saved that poor gorilla's life. Where's the snake at then, Clayton? I gotta tell ya, I ain't seeing no snakes around here, my guy. It's looking pretty snake-free in here. I never knew you could get up here that way. That is so much easier than <laughs> than how I usually do it, getting onto those those stairs by jumping and swinging the sword. Sometimes I have to do that like two or three times to get it to work. And you mean you can just hop on some boxes? Bro. Okay, so that did would have taken us out here. I guess we could have done it that way. Oh well. I don't think there's anything else here for us right now. Pretty sure we just need to go back to... Oh, this chest. I remember when I was doing my 100% run, that chest eluded me for a long time. Um, I think we just need to go back to the camp now.
And since we're here and we do have a little bit of time, might as well go ahead and do the, the vines. Grab the chest. What do we got? Probably nothing good. More Dalmatian puppies, like I said. <laughs> Absolutely nothing good. Where are we actually going next? This way. Ah! Shit. Maybe I was supposed to jump on those vines. Oh. That would have been a lot easier way to get up here. Damn, dude. I think it's possible to get that early. Maybe whenever we, like, fall from way up top or something like that, we could get up here. If we just pick our direction early enough and go for it. I know this isn't the right way to go, but... So we have a little bit of time. Might as well do some exploration. Try the time trial. No. Do we get something for the time trial? Probably. But isn't there like... Aren't I missing something? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, I don't see anywhere else to go. Oh, no, 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 no. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I keep pressing the wrong button to jump. Oh, I suck. It's fine. We'll just swim over. Do it the easy way. I can see. I lose. You win. You have beaten me, game. really weird that there still hasn't been any Heartless that has spawned yet. He laid it on the tote and the lid isn't on all the way, and it kind of rolled between the lid and the tote. You mean the, the cutter, I'm guessing? I'm just glad you found it, love. Kind of suck if you lost it and never even got to use it, like... <laughs> but now you've lost your tape and you're getting mad. You're just not having a good time of it, are you? How could you do such a thing? Now, Miss Porter, as I told you, I was not aiming at the gorilla. You are not to go near the gorillas again. Oh, because of one mishap. Come now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. What am I doing with these imbeciles? Last of gorillas. I hunt down every last one of them. I'll track them down somehow. I'll stake my life on it. Hmm? You're about to uh, my lord. You're about to rap Charlotte? I'd like to see that, honestly, love. Uh I don't remember, like, in the movie, is there some reason why Clayton hates the gorillas so much, like wants to hunt them down so badly? I'm sure there's some sort of reason, but I for the life of me cannot remember it, man. Anyways, though, guys, I think we're going to go ahead and call it there for now. Uh, thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me for a little bit tonight. Uh, actually, before we go, I mean, that's it for the game. We're just going to add on all of the votes. I like doing that live on air as much as possible, just so everyone can see that there's no fishy business going on. 
Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and do that, I guess.